All right, this is part three. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, uh, the date is September 11th, 2011. And uh, the thing that I wanted to mention I, in the previous two videos, I had talked about, like, you know, the inspiration, which was this beast, um, to get the Palstar tuner. And uh, also, I've had the radio and for a while now. Um, I originally had the LDG 1000 tuner. Uh, fortunately, I think I nuked that thing. Uh, it's back at LDG getting repaired now. And uh, I blew an output diode, or the, the input current diode, one of the protection diodes in the back. Uh, why I did that, I'm not really sure. Uh, however, um, it was probably operator error, to be thoroughly honest. Uh, I probably, you know, didn't do something right with the uh, amplifier. So, um, you know, it's not a reflection on the LDG product at all. However, the interesting thing is, is that um, I got the information to, you know, get a, uh, a you know, the, the manual tuner and the help with the amplifier and uh, the setup and the grounding and a lot of the issues, especially the length of the ladder line and the double let. Uh, I wanted to give you a couple of websites to go look this stuff up because it's very cool information. First was the, uh, the DX Engineering website and they have uh, tutorials uh, actually on their website and one of them is how to choose a ballon and uh, it's written by a guy named uh, uh, or his call is W8JI and he has a website W8JI.com and uh, it's like a wealth of information I mean a ton of information and uh, anybody that's new to the hobby or even anybody that's experienced in the hobby uh, would be highly recommended uh, at least on my mind to go check him out he was also very helpful on eham.com uh, where he regularly participates and uh, uh, he gave me a lot of the information uh, about the Ameritron amp and uh, the antenna and uh, you know like I said I probably couldn't have done it without that guy's help without a doubt and a number of other people too uh, but anyways go check out his website triple w w eight j i whiskey eight juliet india dot com uh, again it's like you know you won't be sorry and you know, it's like the guy's got a ton of free information there, like, you know, hundreds of, it seems like hundreds of pages. So, uh, you know, go over there and check it out. The other site was DX Engineering site, uh, dxengineering.com. Uh, I'm not spelling that phonetically. Uh, but on the other, you know, they had, you know, that's where I got the information to build the antenna. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm sure it's also in, you know, the ARRL uh, antenna handbook and a number of other places, but... The specific antenna that I built um, with them and and with their help, you know, got this thing up and running. So, all right, seven threes.